okay good morning everyone so today we are coming with a very new lecture so as you seen first we will say welcome to our space remote sensing and gis channel and uh, today we are actually trying to show you how to process the rainfall data in arcgis pro mostly the net cdf data sets and where from where you can download the uh, rainfall data okay and uh, how we'll going to process it in arcgis pro so that's we will try to explain you in this particular lecture okay so uh, as of now you, if you see here uh, we have uh, uh, some data which you need to download for the rainfall so for this you can type simply uh, CRU data okay so then type this uh, select this high resolution grid data sets and this is the interface which you will find it here okay and you want see this is the release in 2022 and you want this data from this local copy so simply right click and open it and here you will get uh, various data sets okay so what you want to download for the rainfall is is a main gridded data okay so simply click on this and see here you have a different data variables this is all our gridded data so simply click on this precipitations and you just see here the different dates from 1910 to uh, 2021 uh, dates will be available here so you need not you need to download here uh, whatever the latest data set suppose see this is a 2021 uh, this data sets which you can able to download okay so simply click on this and you just see here this data is now start to download which i already downloaded the process i just going to show you so that's why i'm just uh, showing this data so now if you go uh, and check the data so that will be something looking like this so this is the data okay so this is the compressed file which is downloaded as you seen here okay so that is the data sets which is downloaded and once you just uh, right click and you can go to the extract here so you will get this not nets net cdf files okay now the next is you have to open the arcgis pro as we all know so how we'll open the arcgis pro so that i am not going to show you so but to doing the analysis over this data there is some certain process will be there okay so what you have to do uh, so you just need to open this data in a proper way like if you go in a map okay so if you go in a map there you have options for add data so in add data here you will get uh, direct options for multi-dimensional data raster layer data sets open so simply click on that and here you will get the options to select your folder where you have uh, your data so simply go and select that particular folder layer so i am just going to select that particular layer uh, this data sets will be there which i saved it okay so this is the net uh, dot nc data sets if you just simply click on okay so you will get uh, various data so here our main target data is a precipitation so simply click on that and multi-dimensional raster layer you need to open it here okay so you not to change anything here okay so then uh, you just simply click on okay so we'll see your total wall data sets will open and if you go in this multi-dimensional layer so you will able to see the starting from this uh, 21 total data sets okay so 2021 all the 12 months data you will get it here okay suppose you want to focus over some study area so i'm just having one uh, data vector data which i just trying to focus over here okay so you just see here uh, i will i have one vector file so i will focus only that much area okay so that in, in it will be easy for you to understand not taking this full world data sets okay so that's only i'm doing i have that data inside this one so you just see here the full karnatak uh, shape files i have with me i'm just simply click on okay and you just see my data is perfectly sitting over there so if you want to focus on that particular locations then simply right click on this and go to the zoom to layer options that's all okay so here uh, if you want you can make it hollow to uh, get a better understanding 
okay so as of now i'm just switching off this okay so this is my study area okay so i i know this is my study area okay so yeah, because i am just going to focus only this much so these are two things either you can cut it from now but better option is you go with the automation tool of arcgis pro and use the clipping for that okay so then the full extent area you can take it okay and the final output only you can go with the exact boundary okay so that will be the better options so how we'll going to clip out this particular area which you want to uh, do a process uh, it here so here it is very easy option so if you just select this okay and go to the raster layer okay so not not raster layer you know that is a imagery we have this option so okay if we go in a imagery and under the image processing okay so under the imagery there is a process and you can simply click on uh, the clip so whatever area you want to clip so if you clip now so all the 12 months data it is will clip in automated mode because it is already stacked you know. in case of arcgis you need to uh, take the all the bands separately then you have to do the mosaic okay it means all you have to do that layer stack of all those bands but here you need to do that because here it is automatically it is supported that particular layer so that's all uh, advantages you will get in arcgis pro so if you just see here if you select this also the your multi dimensional layer you will going to active and if you see now your data sets are now uh, cut it out of that particular locations what you want okay and you have this is also a special reference and everything will be there if you go in a properties okay in a go in a source data sets in raster informations you will see all the 21 columns and uh, you have uh, this is the uh, the special reference which will be there in wgs 1984 okay so all the informations will be there <coughs> so now uh, this is this part up to up to this it is ready okay all the bands you whatever you have all the 12 bands 21 bands data sets uh, means from the month of uh, see so, sorry the year from 2021 january to the december all the data you will get in a one place okay now the next step if you want to create some kind of graded paths okay so uh, there is uh, some certain process will be there which you have to follow okay so i am just going to show you that how we're going to create that map now uh, go to uh, special analysis tool so now uh, we as i told you that we have to go to the special analysis tool and then you have to go to the local and you have to calculate the stale statistics so this cell statistic is calculate the parcel statistics for the multiple uh, raster layers okay so here what i am going to do i am going to uh, sum of all the layers okay so for this you need to give a input data sets of your uh, this one okay so which you just clip it out okay and you can give uh, some certain name like n1 rainfall or something you can give of 2021 so like that you can give a name okay so i am just changing the name here like okay so here the statistics which you are going to see in here now so which you have to change it and we can change it as a sum so it is the this it, it is a sum of all this which we will going to get it here okay and then simply click on run okay now it is done now what you have to do you have to uh, go back to the conversion tool so go back to this processing and here under the special analysis or uh, no, not in special analysis in the toolbox you have this conversion tools okay and then from raster you want to convert in a point okay so simply click on raster to point okay and here you need to give the input data of your annual rainfall okay and here you can give a proper name of annual uh, you can change this name and you can give annual rainfall 2021 or you can give 21 also so whatever you want okay so it will convert uh, all this raster grid value in a 0.5 okay so simply click on run so let's see the output so this is the output which you will get it here okay so you just see it is coming exactly with the graded value now if you want to uh, run the interpolations using this point value you can do that okay and that is also you can do with the exact with the boundaries okay so for that uh, there is 
one options if you go in a geo processing tool. So, under this you have uh, this one under the spatial analysis ok. So, you have the interpolations you can apply the interpolations you can click on this IDW and you can give your input files of annual rainfall which is a point file ok. Grid size if you want you can change it ok I am not changing the grid size ok you can come to the environment and here the extent. So, I do not want the default extents what I want I can go with the exact extent of this one Karnatak. So, I am just click on this Karnatak and here uh, there is see uh, it will go exactly with this only this mask options ok. So, you can select this Karnatak too. So, then it will exactly cut with this exact area ok. Now, go back to the font and if you want you can run it. So, then you will get a rainfall map of that particular region ok. So, this is the process of how you will going to download a rainfall data of some particular regions and how we will going to extract that particular map ok uh, in, in ArcGIS Pro. So, thank you everyone. So, I hope you all like this video. So, if you like this video please subscribe my channels and share this video to other people who are actually going to use the gridded data ok. So, thank you, thank you all, thank you very much.